Good morning! It's May the 13th, 2021, and we welcome you to Jake's Mountain! Hey, I'm in the garage. Let's get to it. Thank you very much for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. I'm your host, Jake Hernandez. That's right. It is a Thursday, a throwback Thursday. So we're going to have some uh, results from a doctor's appointment that I just had. And, hey, it's in the past. So it is con you know, considered a throwback Thursday, even though it just happened an hour and a half ago or more. All right, so... I'd like to go ahead and think the music today that was provided. That was, um, uh, what was that? That was the uh, Tim Pews and the Defecators with their song Malignant. And it's about a person who's just a real ass and is uh, so much an ass, you uh, think of him as a malignant tumor. All right. Well, let's go ahead and also thank the sponsors today. We've got the Pink Panther Strikes Again. That's right, a raised video. One dollar, seven day rental. It's part of the five pack series. Uh, Pink Panther right here. Uh, five movies for four dollars and two week rental. All right, good stuff right there. Also got nice uh, casual t-shirts from Joseph S. Stein right here over um, at Joseph S. Stein's website. 10.99, that's right. Just type in the word casual t-shirts and you'll get it really quick, all right? Let's go ahead right now and get to my bounty. It was another good one. I found one on my way to the doctor's appointment today, so I took a little bit of a different uh, stop than I usually do. And right now I'll show you my, uh, well, my, my bounty, of course. And here we go. A lot of water bottles. It was like it was already set up for me. I found probably like 10 water bottles in a bag. Not to mention uh, green tea and a Donald Duck orange juice. Let's see. I also found cold brew, uh, vanilla sweet cream, Starbucks. Vitamin water. As you can see, just a lot of water, period. Let's go back to the studio, all right? <sighs> okay, well, I think I cut my foot on something, but I'll play through it. And uh, also want to go ahead and uh, let you know some of my information about uh, my doctor's appointment. I went to see my doctor today because of my diabetes, my uh, type two, because I'm a fat bitch, and I uh, can't keep my sugar down. And here's what I found out today. All right, um, my blood collected was um, 513 routine. Let's see, do I have anything else in here I need to know about? Uh, Follow-up appointment is, let's see, Thursday, May 27th. All right, let's see. My medications are unchanged except for a few of them. I believe my prozosin has gone up from two grams, two milligrams, excuse me, to uh, 10 milligrams now, and that should help me uh, fall asleep better without my nightmares and uh, without my seizures. Um, so hopefully that will change uh, what I'm going through right now. Also, um, let's see if I had any other uh, medications that were changed still on the uh, vitamin D and the uh, cholesterol uh, uh, the lower the cholesterol pill and let's see um, I'm still waiting to get my eye exam and my vaccine uh, let's see I have other things uh, foot exams in another year uh, let's see hypoglobin A1C I think I will do pretty soon again because um, it was eight and it's supposed to be in that range of like 6.5 to eight. If you get like 8.5, nine, then you gotta start worrying and stuff and, you know, cut out that sugar. And uh, it's a real hard one. I love my coffee, I love my sweets. I know you guys probably do too. So little things in here about following your diet, get some exercise, social distancing, yada, yada, yada. Um, my uh, blood pressure today, let's see. 
It was, uh, I believe, 131 over 80, so a little high, but that um, happens, you know, just because, hey, I walked downtown, you know, and uh, I was a little nervous, a little anxious. I mean, it's a doctor's office. I've been to it a million times, but it's still, uh, you know, a chore for me. It's still a hassle, so uh, nothing too high there. Um, they did my uh, C sugar count, and it was 260. Um, which is high, but um, it's not anything in the range to be like really worried about or anything like that. Um, so I got this little uh, new thing for them. They're going away into a different uh, location in Kingsburg. And I guess this is their mascot for Adventist Health. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys know it. It looks like a penguin and there's a doll horse in the back, of course, because it's Kingsburg. Um, but yeah, it's pretty interesting. Pip, uh, I guess he's a penguin. Maybe he's a bird. I'll have to look into this more and give you guys some notes on it maybe tomorrow or the next uh, time uh, we meet, okay? All right, also wanted to share with you uh, my internal medicine. Uh, this is for my neurologist. I will have an appointment with a new neurologist, it looks like. And that is scheduled for August 25th, 2021. Uh, at 2.20 p.m. And yes, that is in Fresno. Hopefully I haven't seen this uh, neurologist before. Or, oh, he's a good one. Fingers crossed. Um, I just, you know, I want, I already know I have seizures. But I want to know if I have epilepsy. You know, I want to know if uh, what I have is genetic. And what if I have um, maybe started at an earlier age. Um, I just didn't know about it. Maybe it lied dormant. Um, but I want to know if I just have, you know, non-epileptic seizures or if I do have both, which a lot of uh, PNES uh, people do have. Uh, the 25% of uh, psychogenic non-epileptic seizure uh, people actually have uh, epilepsy as well as PNES. And so I want to be seen uh, probably overnight or many nights actually in a row and to see, uh, do I have the seizures at night? Do I have them in my sleep? Um, do I, you know, act in certain ways in my sleep, uh, seizure activity, anything like that that would help me out? That would be great. I know um, this has been a long journey for me and it's probably gonna, you know, I'm gonna have it for the rest of my life. And uh, I just gotta deal with it, you know. But let's go ahead right now and get to the news. And uh, let's go ahead and one hospitalized after stabbing. This is yesterday's news. Sorry. <laughs> Woo. A little, a little brain uh, fart right there. Here's today's news. Driver shoots at SUV during a road rage accident. Oh, wow. Incident, excuse me, near Fowler. No one was injured. Happened at Highway 99 near Manny Avenue, 6.30 p.m. Wednesday. The driver, uh... Of an SUV got off. Uh, he was the one who was getting shot out, and he's still looking for the suspect. All right, that is crazy, and I'm crazy situation. I just got watched, done watching the movie Unhinged, and uh, wow, Russell Crowe does a good job. And I could just imagine what this guy went through, and uh, it's not pretty. Okay, if you guys get cut off, or if you guys, you know, for some reason. You know, have some dispute with a driver, let it go. All right, and it's not worth it. All right, driver leads Glovis police high speed chase. Uh, he was wanted for a violating domestic violence restraining order. Let's say that five times fast. All right, started at 1 a.m. at Holiday Inn over there at Helm and Shaw Avenue. Great neighborhood. Um, anyway, he drove a silver Cadillac all the way from the that Holiday Inn to Rolenda, and then back into Clovis, and then back into Fresno. Wow, he just didn't know where to go, did he? Um, he went to speeds of over 130 miles per hour, and when he was caught, he was caught near Cornell, and it was Sean, near the uh, Fresno City College, and no one was hurt, and he was taken into uh, custody without any incident. All right, police chasing and dead. Uh, Deadly Fresno crash. Woman was killed. Uh, the chase started downtown. Suspected gang member uh, who caused the crash is still at large. 
what happened was uh, uh, Chase started in downtown uh, Chinatown. We don't really have a Chinatown in Fresno, but they call it Chinatown anyway. There's a few buildings. Anyway, over there, he uh, the driver tossed out his AR-15 rifle, and he slammed into a BMW shortly afterward, killing a woman who was driving her car. And uh, he also crashed into a building, causing $30,000 uh, damage. It was supposed to be like a youth center. And um, there's also a GoFundMe page for this youth center. And you can look it up on our sister uh, station site, uh, ABC 30 News. Okay. Well, shocking uh, explanation from Fresno Man on trial for murder. He killed his girlfriend. Um, this happened just re uh, 2017, but is now finally coming to trial. Uh, he killed his girlfriend when uh, he was asking for a ride, and he proceeded to do so until she finally gave in, gave him a ride to Hanford. Uh, I think they went and stopped somewhere to eat along the way or along the way back, and you can just see him trying to use her PIN uh, number and card, but he's not successful because he doesn't know the uh, PIN you know, number or the uh, zip code. So that's no go, and he ends up killing her, and uh, then he goes over to his mom's house, and gets a picnic, uh, what are those called, picnic table, like, uh, shit, you know, those uh, picnic table sheets, you put them on there, you, the picnic table sheets, okay, <laughs> put them on the table, and um, he got that, put it on her body, and, uh, you know, just abandoned the car, they found the car a day later, after the whole uh, incident, and um, then he was charged. But he has an explanation. Uh, either his attorney has an explanation for why he did that. Says he was poked with a foreign object and drug while he was asleep, and that he snapped, and every time uh, he oh, closes his eyes, he sees that image. So I guess he just snapped and killed her. Okay. <laughs> uh, he's facing 100 years in prison if he is charged with murder if he is a charge with manslaughter it will only be 10 years and probably less than that um, we'll let you know if uh, anything develops okay all right right now we're gonna go ahead and do some trivia questions if i can find them real quick and uh, since we're gonna look for them here's some music for you guys i don't want you to get bored <laughs> Okay, here's one question. What country is the 2008 film Rambo set in? If I've already asked it, I'm sorry, but I don't think I have. And the question, again, what country is the 2008 film Rambo set in? The answer is Burma, that's right, or Myanmar. Okay, what is the full name of the second film of the Kingsman ser uh, series? And the answer is Kingsman, the Golden Circle. I heard good things about the first one, haven't seen it. Imagine I'll see it eventually and probably the second one. Here's an easy one. In Speed, at the movie Speed, what uh, speed must the uh, bus be kept at a certain uh, speed? <laughs> um, the, the answer is 50 miles per hour, and that could have been a great uh, game. Uh, every time I say speed, take a shot, and you'd already be drunk by now. <laughs> All right, well... That's going to go ahead and do it for us today. Um, thank you for tuning in to Jake's Bounty. Tomorrow, we have Funky Fridays, something from the funk uh, era. Hopefully, you never have heard of it. Um, also, I want to let you know about other sponsors. Uh, Pink Panther Strikes Again right here, Ray's Video. $1 uh, seven-day rental, uh, part of the five series of Pink Panther, okay? We also have Big Movie Quiz, uh, three categories, 100 questions each. Three dollars and fifty cents. Good, uh, good time, fun. Go get it at Jake's Bounty right now. We type in the words "big movie quiz." All right, we're gonna go ahead and show a scene from the play I'm workshopping entitled "Fuck You, Meth, You Ruined My Life." Um, but before we do that, I want to say you guys have a good rest of the day, and be good to yourselves, and be good to each other. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. No one's praying now, man. I got the chair, but you'll never get me. Jake's
Bounty was filmed at Fornicate Yourself Records production. 2021, and you can follow him on his Facebook, his channel, and ring that bell, and please subscribe. Save me, meth man, save me. Hold on, lady. I gotta go smoke some meth first, and then get my powers. First, I'm gonna change into my costume. Save me, meth man, save me. All right, hold on. Ah, now I gotta do some meth. Hold on. Uh, save me, meth man, save me. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. Okay, I'm coming. You better hurry, he's got a gun. Oh, oof, I need a little more. Oh, that's some good stuff. Ooh. Meth man, oh, he's killing me. Oh yeah, daddy, here I come. Oh, I'm dead! Meth man to the rescue! Ugh. Oh, fuck. He's gone and she's dead. Well, better go do some more meth. Up, up, and away! Ugh.